Hey guys, what's up? My Will Password here with another video game review. Uh, today we are going to be in uh, reviewing Gotham Knights. A quick, quick thing, real quick. Um, I am a bit under the weather, so sorry if my voice isn't as loud or dynamic or anything. My, yeah. Um, but we are here. Anyways, let's hop in. Um, Gotham Knights. It is uh, <coughs> very. It was very interesting. I just finished it up recently, and uh, it, I, I thought it was a very cool concept and very interesting. It was different, um, but in a in a good way. Uh, I was expecting it to. I was expecting something else. But it was still, fun. I I really enjoyed that you got to play as different characters. Uh, you get to play as Batman, sidekicks, Nightwing, uh, Red Hood. Robin, Batgirl, uh, and you get to kind of switch throughout missions. Each mission, uh, you're locked into them per mission, so you can switch them out in between missions, and they have their own skill trees, they have their own abilities, they have their own gadgets and all that stuff. I think, um, <clears throat> I think what I didn't like about the combat, I, I think that it felt the same even though they were different um each character like i felt like the power levels were always the same the the attack speeds were always the same defenses were always the same um almost the moves were always the same just different different like re rehashed or reskinned um but i think it was still fun the core gameplay loop was still fun it very much played like uh part of the arkham series Though it is not part of the Arkham series, I wanted to put that out there. It is not like the Batman games that we're all used to with Kevin Conroy and uh, his understudy. Um, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy, by the way. Um, um, Batman is in this game, but that's for you to find out. Uh, it is a different... It is a different story from what you would get. It is about the Court of Owls. Uh, and and League of uh, League of Assassins, League of Shadows, all that stuff. Um, so it's not like your main. Oh, go fight Joker, go fight Bane, or something. Penguins in there, Doctor Freeze is in there, Harley Quinn's in there. Um, there none of the voice actors are the same from what you would get from your usual like Arkham games or Batman stuff. So Tara Strong's not Harley Quinn. Kevin Conroy's not Batman. Uh, there's no Joker. Um, Penguin, Doctor Mister Freeze, they're all. Everyone's a different voice actor, um. So, um, yeah. But it's still, it was still good, nonetheless. Um, I think, in terms of the story, I think it was very mid. Um, I'm not too familiar with the Court of Owls story arc. Um, I know the very basics of it. But I didn't know. I don't know all the details, so I couldn't really understand every single part of what they were trying to get at. I know it was like a kind of like a brand new story, but not really a brand new story, if that makes sense. Um, I know they they took inspiration from a lot of like a lot of the DC comics, DC games, and they uh they kind of like made their own thing in a way, as if that's what I read right. Um, but uh i think i think this this is all personal opinion um everyone might have something else to say about it i think that the farther into the game i got um the more i guess in terms of story the farther into the game i got i think the more boring it became um mainly because like i said i don't know too much about the core of stuff so I was kind of just like playing it for the gameplay towards the end. Um, and I wasn't really following the story. Um, so someone might think differently. So sorry if uh, if that hit pushed a button for you or something. But uh, that's how I felt. Uh, but I really enjoyed the gameplay loop. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the vibe. The atmosphere was very much like Arkham Knight. I believe it was on the same engine um i do know performance isn't the greatest i i've read the i've read other reviews i've seen some gameplay prior to me playing it 
and it was very much uh a lot of people were saying crash simulator they were somewhat correct um yeah i've i've had multiple crashes i've had um like other other bugs in there um but when you're actually playing it i was able you know get stable 60 um nothing in term nothing as game breaking um outside of crashes so uh i think they would need to keep fixing it up i don't know if they will um in future updates i think they also i don't think they're gonna add dlc um then looking at the uh different additions that they had in the store um there was no like season pass or anything i think it was just like one straight story um so yeah uh i think uh it was also it was, it was just really cool to see gotham in a new way as well i was very in i was very intrigued that they added like actual like non-criminals into the game like they added pedestrians they added people living in gotham you know not just uh not just criminals that you go around and and defeat like they've added, they've actually added like functional functional spots functional restaurants um pedestrians you know uh you know your usual cops and robbers they have added all they, they just added a bunch of new things that are very little but it you will definitely notice them um so yeah i know a very short review i try to keep it simple i know my my mind is going through a lot because i just finished it but overall i think it was it was good it was interesting um though it does need a lot of polishing and i have no idea if they will polish it up um so play that at your own discretion and yeah but guys thanks so much for coming out listening to this review um definitely a solid six out of ten there um yeah the next uh video game review will most likely be uh spider-man miles morales if not uh the either black ops 3 campaign or the saints row reboot remake i will be playing those soon and i will put one out for you whenever i get those done but uh yeah uh put put what you liked or didn't like down in the comments um i'll put my uh socials down in the description for twitter twitch and discord if you want to click on those links and all that stuff and catch me when i'm live and uh yeah be super grateful if you guys dropped a sub on the channel like whatever you want, always want to do and uh i will catch you all in the next video so adios